this thing loaded. chain in the rear and go but we're only going like four miles so I just don't feel like getting pulled over again so I'll pay the hundred dollars to not get another three hundred dollar fine and I'll give you guys the whole story here in a little bit Shut her down. I will give you guys the story on everything because this is kind of like Pennsylvania sucks if you ever find a state that you want to move to don't do Pennsylvania 
So, or Maryland, or New Jersey, New York, or California. All right, guys, so as you saw, uh, we got the truck towed home and everything. I was like 3.8 miles from my house, and I took the wrong exit, and I decided to go through Carlisle, and I know I shouldn't have. I meant to take 45, and I missed it, so I took 47. And here we are, the next day. So I'm driving out to PennDOT to hopefully get all this taken care of because somewhere along the lines there was a mistake. Uh, somebody at PennDOT I thought was very helpful and completely disregarded the fact that there was a third fee to pay like six months ago. So, and it's only $25. So now I'm dealing with license issues and over $25. So I'm gonna go down there, see what I can do. Uh, hopefully it's not a big deal, but knowing what's going on right now, it's probably going to be, I'll be in there for a few hours, over literally $25. So I have all the paperwork I need and everything. And the funny thing is, like, he pulled me over for the tires and didn't give me a ticket for any of that. He gave me something for the license. I'd have to look it over. I'll go over that. Um, but the truck's inspected. It's registered. It's insured. I actually used the general for insurance. And everything's good there it just so we are going to end up ordering some fender flares and some two inch spacers for the front of the truck um i want to recoup a little bit of money after this weekend because i kind of it's definitely a big spender so we made the drive down to kentucky and back up in a weekend worked pretty much 24 hours through the weekend got up at 2 30 a.m got there by uh, noon and then worked for eight hours and then headed back up to PA, slept a little bit, and then I left I left Tennessee at like six in the morning, and we got home around, well, I didn't get home until late because we actually were in Carlisle like 10 minutes from the house, and unfortunately, um, in that 10 minutes from the house was when I got pulled over, and it's like, hey, welcome back to Pennsylvania. Uh, we don't like the fact that your tires stick out, which, you know, I'm fine with that. I get it. I mean, I'll take the ticket every now and again, but. It's just, Pennsylvania is kind of a police state and they care about things that really don't matter because they'll let, they'll let you drive around in a tractor trailer or a bedless truck as long as you have mud flaps. But if I throw mud fla bigger mud flaps on this, they'll still get you for it. But I think what we're gonna do is end up going with bigger mud flaps and, and some fender flares. We'll do that and uh, I'll have another video on that for you, but I think it'll look pretty good with the tires and everything. Um, I kind of like the look of fender flares. I just don't like that they scratch the paint, but the paint kind of sucks anyway, and we're thinking about getting this thing painted. Um, so, we'll see. So, I'm at the DMV now, and they said anything to do with licensing has been moved to Enola, and they're closed on Mondays. It's Monday. I'm a little annoyed. So that means I gotta come back out tomorrow, risk my shit again. I mean, I guess I haven't been pulled over in a while, so I mean, it, it was kind of expected. So, for everybody, I'm gonna give you guys the full story, the full rundown on it while I'm sitting here in the parking lot, and then I will uh, I will go from there. But we have things to do today, and probably gonna have to shut the shop down for two days because we're dealing with some crap, so. Oh, what a pain, what a pain it is. All right, so I'm gonna set you like that. So basically, what happened was, if you guys remember, I did a video a while back called PennDOT tried to suspend my license, okay? So I've been driving around for about six months now. What, this was in March sometime. I got pulled over for the tires and the and the uh, tail lights, And then I got pulled over again for it 11 days later, you know, pay all that, whatever, um, fines, whatever. I got pulled over and then I realized my registration was out and then because I'm not running, I was running commercial, I didn't worry about the inspection sticker because I was never in Pennsylvania. So I'm like, I didn't have the registration. The registration was out by a little bit and then the inspection sticker. And then between switching from commercial to personal, some paperwork got mixed up. It was midnight and I didn't have a proof of insurance on me that was valid and I, I, didn't, I didn't get my updated one. I couldn't call them. Um, so I was like, okay, whatever. I just pay it. It's that was only like a hundred bucks or something. So that one, I wasn't worried about fighting it. And I'm like, I just pay it. Cause I lose more money with the downtime than I would just paying it. So a hundred bucks, I could make $200 in the time I'm worried about fighting it. So here we are six months later, I got pulled over last night. Uh, after I paid, 
I called the DMV about six months ago. I should I should go back. I called the DMV about five months ago after I realized they were trying to suspend it for the insurance issue. And I was like, well, what the hell? I just paid it. Apparently, that's not how they do it. They'll send you something. So I called the DMV and they're like, okay, we'll reinstate everything. You got to pay this $500 fee, this $94 fee and no worries. I'm like, okay, whatever. I mean, it sucks, $594, but they expect that immediately. No ifs, ands, or buts. So I paid the $594. I got the receipts for both of them. I showed in that video that I paid. I got pulled over last night and I was like, well, instead of driving 3.8 miles home because they're literally pulling everybody over, um, I decided I'll just tow it. It's a hundred bucks and here's cash. Uh, great guys, by the way. Um, so yeah, paid to get it towed home. It was like 3.8 miles, like 10 minutes up the road. Um, this thing barely fit on the tow truck as you guys saw. But in the meantime, uh, the reason that I had to do that was because the officer said, hey, your license is suspended and um, I'm gonna have to confiscate it. And I'm like, what? So he gave me a letter that said, acknowledgement of seized surrenders driver's license. And I'm like, but I paid the fines. So and I showed him that and he's like, Oh yeah, those are only for the uh, the truck registration and your insurance and all that. And I was like, um, the, that's not what the lady on the phone said. He's like, yeah, there's another $25 fee. I'm like, there's a $25 fee. You think I just paid $594 and I'm worried about a $25 fee? Like, I'm on the phone with this lady and I thought she was a huge help. And here we are six months later. Now I'm walking away with a, what is it? $318 fine instead of the normal $102 fine I would have just got for the tires. So now I got to make more ad revenue. And um, unfortunately, uh, ad revenue is down because Joe Biden seems to be playing in the commercials. And uh, I don't think anybody likes Joe Biden, but not going to talk politics. But so yeah, $318 he got me for operation privilege suspended, revoked court enters fine operation of vehicle with suspended or revoked license. So $200 for the fine, $10 for EMS, $45 surcharge, $41 costs, uh, JCP, ATJ, $22. So total due, $318. So yeah, now um, I got some things to deal with. Now I got to go back uh, and deal with this, I guess, tomorrow. So basically, I got to drive around and hope I don't get pulled. And if anything happens, it's like... I just got to go pay this $25 fee, it sounds like. Acknowledgement of... Yeah. So I guess pen dot one, they got the $600 out of me and ended up taking the license. So um, not too happy about that. Not too happy about that. So I literally thought that I had everything taken care of. I have my proof of insurance, my registration's up to date, my inspection sticker's done. I got brand new tires on the truck. Like all my lights work, e-brake works great. You know, everything works and is inspected and you know, so it, that's not the big deal. It's literally now they're like, okay, because of something that happened six months ago, um, no license. So I'm like, all right, well, we're gonna, that. but that's the whole backstory to it. It's like Pennsylvania and for the, the keyboard warriors, I get it. You can, you know, be as tough as you want and, you know, make stupid comments. And I mean, I get it. This is literally over a $25 fee that, you know, it would have been nice that I could have just paid like $25. I mean, I, I got that in my pocket right now. Like, let me just pay it. So that's, Pennsylvania is a police state. This goes for the guys that want to comment and think, oh, you should do that, you know. Pennsylvania is a very bad state. Democrat, a um, lot, uh, lot of taxes, a lot of random laws that don't make sense. A lot of states don't care about most of this stuff. It's just anything that they can meet their quota on. I mean, I'm okay with getting fines for the tires every now and again. But I'm losing more, like more money, going around and figuring this out than I ever am by spending the money to get it taken care of. All right, that's my rant. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna continue this video off tomorrow when we hopefully get the license back. That way, but like I said, everything's legal and there's an inspection sticker up there, so it's literally just a licensing problem now. So, so much for getting that CDL. All right, guys. So we are back on the road. I didn't film any of it. Um, but as I recall, Monday I told you I went out to PennDOT. They said, oh, we're doing it out in Enola, but they're closed on Monday, so we had to deal with a couple of things. And then Tuesday we went back out. 
dealt with that. Um, wasn't too bad of a process, but we did get it taken care of and all. Um, so basically there was, the cop said there was a $25 fee, which according to PennDOT was wrong. Again, it was a $94 fee, so I paid that, and then since my license was supposed to expire next month anyway, well, actually this month now, because it's October 1st, um, I paid the $25 to renew the license. So now I have a new license that's good for another four years. Now, the whole thing about this, uh, where this title came from is, basically from what I understood from the officer is that my license has been suspended for five months, is what basically I'm getting out of it. And my suspension doesn't start until, uh, cause there'd be a cease and desist order on the uh, license. So the suspension three months that I was supposed to get doesn't actually start until they get the license, which would have been eight months total instead of the normal three. But I did not know that. And like, I literally thought that I took care of this a few months ago. I paid everything. I had all the receipts. Um, it was $594, there was two payments. So, but yeah, it's just interesting that, you know, it's just a shit show over here in Pennsylvania. So if I would have had to go another three months without the license, chances are good that I would have lost pretty much everything, the entire business, but they were pretty cool. I was able to go in and get it all in one day and we don't have to worry about that. I don't have to shut down any longer. Like I said, it's about a 40 minute drive for me to actually get to the shop and so that I can do any of the work that I do. But I've been shut down now for about three days uh, figuring this all out. So we are back in action. We have work to do today and we're gonna keep, uh, keep plugging along with that. All right, so now you guys got pretty much the whole story. I'm gonna get this shit cleaned out. From the weekend, we got a bunch of stuff to clean out over here. And then we got something coming for the front and the back. You guys can see the marks from before, so. See, uh, see how that works. All right, we're working on these violations. So I got the mud flaps off, that was a pain. I did not actually have to take the uh, tires off, but so that should do it. We'll be getting the mud flaps, or not the, the uh, we'll be getting the fender flares tonight. Throw them on tomorrow. Obviously, they're not going to get covered completely, but I'd prefer them to cover as little as possible, but whatever. So we're waiting for our job now to show up, and uh, we'll get that done. All right, so... I didn't film the rest of it, but we did go and get, uh, we found a set of these on Marketplace. <clears throat> so, went and put these on, you know, nothing too crazy. They still stick out a little bit in the back. We're going to work on getting uh, some spacers for the front. Let that sit out in the sun for a little while, but that's done. We're doing a little cleaning now, so. For what it is, you know, not too bad. We actually washed the thing. So other than that, uh, this thing should be about done. We just need to work on getting the uh, instrument cluster fixed. So we just need to work on getting that changed out and then something with the fuel pump and then this thing's pretty much done. There's not too much else to work on. All right, so to kind of finish out this video, I wanna put the update on everything. Now, after this whole weekend had occurred with the pullover and everything, which by the way, um, the pullover wasn't a big deal. It's the fact that there was a screw up with the MV and I had to fight for the license and everything. And they wanted to tell me that I have another three month suspension, which I did get taken care of. But if that were to have happened, I would have had to completely close the doors down because the shop that I'm working out of is about 40 minutes away from where I live. Um, and unfortunately I wouldn't be able to travel to and from. So uh, some updates on that. Not 100% yet, but I do think that we are going to pull the plug on the shop for now. Um, some things have come up financially, and I want to make sure that um, money that's going out the door, I want to make sure that we're able to keep recouping it. Um, so I'm not broke yet, but, you know, I do want to keep uh, keep an eye on my finances, get rid of some of the overhead, and get some of the debt paid down before uh, continuing forward. Um, so from now on, if anybody hits me up about any jobs, um, I will probably try to do everything mobile. 
Um, so I'm going to be stationed out here in Carlisle. So on around the 81, in between like exit 72 and 45, those are where I'm going to be doing mainly most of the work. Um, it's a really big hot spot for truckers and hot shotters. So I uh, just wanted to put that information out there for the rest of you guys that are still going to be contacting me for service. Um, I still am pretty busy, so I'm keeping busy at the shop, but I just want to make sure that we are able to keep uh, money flowing in the door and then hopefully come January 1st we can start hitting it pretty hard um, harder than we've been so um, Other than that, that's my rant and my update. So as for that um, We did get we have been getting a lot of nice comments lately I mean we get one of the one crappy one every now and again But I mean that just means that he's reading the description the guys that uh, want to leave you know, bad or negative comments or anything, we still appreciate you guys because I know you're watching the whole video. You guys are the ones that watch the whole thing. So appreciate that. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Hope you guys have a good one. Take care.